I went away this year. I went away with my mates. I went on a lads' holiday this year for the first time I've always seen. <laughs> I went away, done a bit of flying the airport. Still annoying. 11 years since 9-11 and Bin Laden's dead and they're still asking to check the bottom of your shoes because you're still not allowed on board the plane with dog shite. Right, I know. <laughs> Everybody's still getting their toiletries put in the bin. Your brand new holiday toiletries. Surely airport security staff can now distinguish between terrorists and talented people. See, like hijacking a plane with a knife and flying it into a building, that's terrorism. However, blowing up a plane with a bottle of Pantene Pro-V conditioner. <laughs> that's a fucking achievement. <laughs> If somebody was to stand up on my flight and shout, nobody fucking move. <laughs> Hit the deck, fuckers, it's shampoo time. <laughs> I'd imagine I would laugh. Do they think people are going to be in a frenzy going, just stand back, don't approach him, he's got L'Oreal, it's not worth it. I went on holiday, and you see it from a different perspective when you go on holiday with your friends for the first time. I've always seen them in action, but when you actually go on one, a boys or a girls holiday, you, the holiday starts months in advance. The day, the day you go and book the holiday, that's a wee holiday in itself. Saturday morning, get a couple of cans, let's get fucking steaming, go and book that. <laughs> you don't just send a couple of representatives, about 18 of you go to the, the travel agent. <laughs> fucking book the door off the hinges. <laughs> Get us to fuck. <laughs> the deal in the window, times 18. <laughs> of the original 18 who sign up, only four will make it. <laughs> it's a bit like a boot camp. Unemployed as fuck, mates. They're the first ones to bail on you. They fall at the first hurdle. Don't know if I can go, lads. <laughs> Unless my PPI comes in. <laughs> I think Thomas Cook will take self-esteem. <laughs> I went away. I went away for two weeks with my mates. That's a mistake that you make once in your life, going on a holiday with your friends for two weeks. You go on holiday with your friends for two weeks, you will discover that you have no friends. <laughs> the second week, you start to feel feelings of overwhelming anger. You don't even know. <laughs> why you're furious. In human levels, a fucking rage. Just sitting at the side of the pool with a hat on, shorts, sunburn, and you're right up to there, and sunburn to here. Your T-shirt's still damp because you've been in the pool. Just sitting there fucking raging. <laughs> See that fucking prick? I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> well, how much he done? Just fucking look at him. <laughs> what what do we read the paper? He turns a page. Uh, 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 uh. He fucking knows it annoys me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You see the real guys on your plane? We were the newcomers. You see the professional lads' holidays with their t shirts made? They're on your plane. Nicknames on the t shirts Shagger, Rambo, Craigie, Ginge. That's the four accepted nicknames for a professional class of 97. Guys who have made bail money in pesetas and his scudos. They're the guys on your plane hitting the call bell 40,000 feet saying, Excuse me, mate, going to give that CD to the pilot? Tell him track 10. <laughs> No, when you're that drunk, it's only your finger that can move. <laughs> <laughs> We're still trying to buy more alcohol. The cabin crew are saying, you do realise, guys, that one alcoholic drink consumed in the sky, that's the equivalent of two consumed on the ground. Well, do you hear that, Craigie? Fucking wake up. Guys say that it's two for ones, mate. Go. <laughs> Go up, you pricks. Happy hour. <laughs> Give me a quid 
or you're getting stabbed. <laughs> Just you.